Hello and welcome on this episode of FreeCAD. Uh, my name is Regis and I will be taking you through FreeCAD. Alright, so so in this uh, episode of FreeCAD, I am going to take you in in a second type of modeling. Um, this type of modeling is not going to be like the style that we used before, but we're going to be mostly uh, taking advantage of the sketcher this time. <clears throat> the sketcher workbench is a very, very powerful. Um, in fact, this is the way that Free. This is what FreeCAD was initially meant to do, and it works with uh, parameters and dimensions and stuff like that to control things uh, with constraints. And so, this is a very, very powerful tool that you can use. So, we're going to see how we can model this same object. Uh, using the sketcher and this also continues the workflow attempt uh, so from moving from the 2d and then basically when you're able to generate this kind of shape uh, you know and uh, once you have a f you know an idea of a general shape like this one and so now you want to be able to control the building to control the model so let's say we want to now uh, provide it some uh, some parameters some information that allows us to tweak to tweak the shape uh, the way we want it so I'm good we're gonna try to model it with uh, the sketcher and you will quickly see what I mean by that uh, right um, so what do I want to do what well, maybe I want to use a uh, one of these lines as a starting point and I'm going to draw it on the side maybe so it's easily differentiable so uh, I'm gonna go to top view um, probably set my view to orthographic and then and then um, I'm going to go to wireframe alright so here I want to get the outline first um, so maybe um, I want to get the outline as a guide so I can show you what to do with it so maybe I'm gonna go back to the draft for now I'm just going to take that object make sure I'm in the top plane alright so now my snaps are on snap there 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 there, 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 and there. <clears throat> okay, so that's uh, my outline one. That's the, the, the form of the building. Um, maybe I want to get uh, the roof outline as well. Um, so get that one, two, three four and five so that's the roof outline I'm gonna rename that the wire roof outline uh, rename that floor outline all right and maybe I'm gonna get the ground slab as well okay so from here there 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 and close that rename all right so there we go so I'm gonna select them and then move them to the side So just move them to the side like this. Good. So now they're going to serve me as a reference guide. Uh, so now I'm going to go to the sketcher. I'm probably going to go back to um, no shading here. Make all of these um, make face false. All right. Top view. 
make sure I'm in navigation blend, uh, CAD okay so go back to the sketcher and in this sketcher I'm going to create a new sketch on the XY plane of course okay scroll out and here I'm going to draw the sketch um, the sketcher uh, outline so just going to use this tool right here just do something that mimics it like this okay looking good so now I'm going to constrain it a little bit do that that and that okay it's everybody that's um and then you all right everybody's parallel and perpendicular okay so now I want to um I want to snap them around them those edges so I'm going to take this tool and do that what's it called again um, create an edge linked to an external geometry so I'm just using the external geometry here just as a uh, for this particular exercise just as a um, a, a guide to see where I want to put my objects but uh, in other parts I will not I will be using 3d objects uh, as a means to control the positioning of things but I'll show you that here a little bit so now that I have all the edges selected I want to snap uh, these corners in this angle so I'm going to use this tool here create a coincidental constraint so, um, so I'm going to select that click here and then click that so it snaps right there select that and that 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 and you see that the whole thing is constrained so everything is turned green <coughs> It tells me that everything is constraints in here. You can see all the different constraints that are just applied here. Um, okay, so what I can also do now is that I can uh, delete. I uh, see what I want to do is be able to control this with dimensions. Well okay let me just first close it right now to show you what I mean um, close this so if I hide the flow outline so that's my sketch so if I were to bring up the flow outline here and I were to go to let's say the edit mode and I want to edit this point for example like this um, finish sketch well my sketch did not um, it did not update because it's one too many more constraints than they should be so I'm going to delete this constraint okay there you go so probably I want I do not want all these parallel and per perpendicular constraints uh, the coincident the constraints would just define okay so close that so right so now the sketch update so if I come back here and edit that again You can see that the sketch updates as well so to show you exactly how this works let's say I wanted um, I uh, let's say I wanted um, I'm gonna turn that into a structure 
so instead of controlling the structure which has its own sketch as you see there I can just control the flow outline so to speak so I can go back to the draft and edit and I can simply move things like that and you see how it updates the drawing so this is very good when you're trying to control things and it's very efficient and smooth so now I'm going to um, go back to how things were trying to update everything okay so my sketch is back in place but this is not okay let's fix that so this is what makes uh, working with um, draft wires a little bit unpleasant compared to the sketch but um, it, everything is a matter of what you're trying to do so a different method for different purposes sometimes it's convenient so close that and so my sketch now is updated uh, perfect so I need to delete this constraint again delete that okay um, so now I want to um, delete this so I can now use this sketch to control things so I'm going to delete this yes uh, well hold on undo that okay so that's good alright so I have all these lines the guidelines that I used all the way to 12 ok 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8 delete oh no those are the good lines delete alright so now I'm left with the real lines um, close that now let's see what happens alright so I took off the the thing that was connecting that sketch so now in this sketch what I can do which is what is cool is that I can now um, I can lock this constraint this point here lock that up so it, it will move so I can I can put this uh, dimension constraint here I can call this total length okay and I can call this the width all right and then I can call this um, what would that be that would be bedroom length I guess okay bed length this um, 
bed. Wait. Living land and living with. Okay, maybe this would be. I have eight more degrees of freedom. This guy here moved a little bit, so I'm gonna make it perpendicular once again. Okay, and then you are going to be parallel. Like this, like this, like this, and you will be vertically constrained and everybody else will be parallel like so perfect so this constraint is a little too much click to show delete Okay, so zero constraint, fully constrained, sketch, resolve, update. So close that. So now I have uh, my floor plan that I can easily control at any time I want. So um, the next thing is that, um, okay, so that's the roof thing. Um, so maybe we want to do the same thing with the roof. So I am going to create a new sketch. W new sketch um, object X and here I am going to draw a box like so and I am going to take this this is critical to create an edge link select that line that line that line that line that line Dab, dab, dab. Okay. So here, this is where I assign some dimensions. So you see that this can move, has four degrees of freedom. So I'm going to take this and take that and tell it to be 0 0.6 like this. the same thing here 0 0.6 like this so this would make sure that no matter how much my wall is going to move the sketch will stay consistent with uh, the offset of the roof is going to stay consistent um, so here as well, six, and one last one. So you, you see, I have only one degree of freedom left, and it's basically this point that I need to control. So I'm going to put one more dimension here, and then I can offset that uh, zero point six. Okay, so everything is constrained, so it's clean. So close that. So that's my second sketch. So I can delete the roof outline. That was based on the sketch. And I want to create the ground outline as well. Create new sketch, of course. And I'm going to basically do the same thing. Um, I am going to create a square about this much and I am going to constrain it 
from the edges of the house so I'm gonna select this again like this and I'm going to put one of those dimensions again like this so maybe I'm gonna tell it to be 1.2 this time okay it's looking good here as well 1.2 so that's the constant offset that I want to maintain from the edge of the house 1.2 Okay. Now we are in business. Close that and delete this yes so let's test this thing out so if I take my sketch here and I come to the data and I go to constraint you will see that I have all this information that I entered uh, total length total width bed length bed width and all that so let's say I took the total length uh, here uh, the total length is 7.9 let me just change that to let's say 9 all right, so you can see how everything did update along with that. Um, so let's go back to 7.9. Okay, just so we can stay consistent. Um, so now that we have that, let's just lay out our first um, information. Uh, this is for the wall. It's going to create the wall right there um, so that that's the sketch you can see that the sketch is at the center of the wall so I'm gonna select the wall and I'm gonna tell it to be right justified yes that's what I want and um, no shading so we can look at that and compare along the way okay so that's what we have and for the roof I'm going to create a slab and sell it to be want the thickness to be 0 0.2 okay and I want it to be I want a normal one and I want to offset that from the ground from the placement by three uh, position Three M. All right, we are in business. View perspective, and of course my ground slab. Uh, give me a slab here. This is well. You're going to be zero point two. Okay. it's looking good so far okay so now let's test out structure again so I'm gonna come to the constraints and I want to change that to 10 everything is updated nice and well so 7.9 there you go 
so you can see how by constraining the drawing I can just manipulate these uh, dimensions and I can uh, have the drawing update the way I want okay so we're gonna do the same thing for the remaining features let's say I want to put the roof like I had before so the thing is that we want sketch I can control everything so um, for this roof I'm going to use the same sketch here um, which is that sketch on the floor and I'm also going to create that symbol type of wall structure um, I'm going to tell the wall to be justified from the inside right okay it's looking good I'm gonna tell it to be what's your height height 0 0.2 and the placement will be 3.2 placement position 3.2 M there you go so probably increase this to 0 0.4 okay there you go and then I am going to use the same sketch to create the roof outline so let's say this is my roof and it created an inverted roof so let me select the roof again it's the normal uh, strange you give me the roof inverted well I'm not exactly sure why the roof is inverted I have to take a look at that again uh, but I'm going to um, pretend that that's what it is for now uh, let me put you in the right position so I think the height here will be 3 point um, six meters about that um, still looks like it's inside so maybe that was eight no that was seven all right that looks a bit more realistic so that looks interesting I'm gonna keep that for now so that's that for the roof so let's test, test the drawing again so that's um, my line I am going to come to the constraints and here I'm going to just enter 10 again and it's looking good 20 wow I have a nice building that is nicely controlled so I'm going to go back to 7.9 okay so the next thing is I want to draw my windows and, and doors and all that so let me save that if I want to draw a door first I'm gonna to go to the front view well, I'm going to draw a window first. I'm going to come here and let's see. Make a face here. Go to the sketch and I can just um, go to the front view um, orthographic so in this front face I'm going to create a new sketch on this flat face and then I'm going to create a box here and another box here good so 
this line I'm going to make it for now one and here as well um, so let's say that I want this to be 100 mil like this I want this as well 100 mil uh, what happened 100 mil okay another M there oops it moved all of it here so I'm just gonna drag that here it's messed with the shading You just make a nicely constrained thing like this and you're good to go so now why the uh, why is this cool because now you can constrain that from this edge and this edge okay so now what can I do with you I want you to be at the center here so I need to probably do this this and this no that's not gonna work like that um, alright so I add this dimension here and this dimension here so this will allow me to control the window on each side and one last dimension from here to this point I do this and I tell it to be one meter off the ground so the, the, the thing is completely constrained so I close this sketch as you can see that's my sketch um, something's wrong with the different shading stuff so now that I have a sketch like this, all I have to do now is go back to the architecture workbench and just uh, press the window button. As you can see, I have a window that's immediately created. Um, it's not exactly quite consistent. Uh, we will fix that really quickly. Um, so the windows, this is the window I created. Um, that's the sketch so I double click on the window and I can enter inside the window and so what I want to tell it to do is 
uh, this is the default component I'm gonna edit this this is the frame so I'm gonna call it frame as well and I'm going to make it a thickness of let's say 200 millimeters as well 200 2 and I'll hit update and you see I created uh, this component if I close that you see the window and um, double click on that again so now I'm going to create um, probably remove that okay now I'm going to create um, the glass so I'm going to select not that wire but this other wire and I'm going to add select that wire make sure that it appears here wire 0 see y0 and then call it glass here and then here you can call it glass panel <clears throat> and then give it a thickness of maybe 10 millimeters and update okay so that's our glass as you can see but we want to offset that a little bit more so we we'll select that edit and offset that by maybe 100 and it make it slightly thicker 30 millimeter maybe okay so it's looking good so this is how you get a parametric window so maybe I'm thinking uh, the frames are too thick so I can easily come back into the sketch look at the sketch um, and just uh, my frame well alright look at the sketch tell this to be maybe 0 0.5 0 0.5 EU as well 0 0.5 and you 0 0.5 and then close and you see that the window is nicely updated everything looks good okay so next stage is um, let me hide this hide that hide that so I can work with something so next thing is creating the door so I'm going to create this door here so I'm going to put myself on this face make sure my face on that and I am simply going to select uh, this tool again create a window objects and I'm going to select um, maybe glass door okay and I'm just not even gonna worry about anything just snap him into place and I have this tiny interesting door let me hide this and let me put the plane back on the XYZ okay so now I I have the same wall this is my wall I'm gonna go and select that door okay so I'm going to double click into the door the outer frame I'm going to edit that edit and tell it to be 0.2 as well and no offset 0 update component trying to show you what happened wireframe close let's see if I can do that okay so this is what it looked like before so now I update the component that's what it turns out to be and so maybe I'm thinking it's too thick um, I'll fix that later uh, maybe I want to put this uh, the door swing inside 
so double click on that that will be the inner frame I suppose edit that as well uh, maybe the thickness is too much 05 and also the offset is probably too much um, maybe go for 05 as well and see what happens update okay so it's nice inside except that uh, my glass it's outside so maybe I'm going to edit that sell it to be 100 mil update okay that's good enough and then fix the glass in a glass edit uh, the thickness is fine but I want you to be inside there so the Z offset put you at one update not too far in edit um, 015 I suppose too far out edit 012 update so there you go you look good no shading okay that's my door so now I want to fix on the outside so I'm gonna close that and come back to the sketch save that come back to the sketch double click on it view let me fix the view orthographic front view alright so now let's talk about the sketch I want to fix the height that's my main concern so I'm gonna tell this height to be 2.1 like this close you know I could have easily done that here as well since this is a door it has the height property as well um, <laughs> but I didn't fix it from here let's see what happens to one okay well it's connected somehow yeah 2.1 so yeah I could simply come here and tell it 1.5 there you go on 2.1 all right so but I'm not done with the sketch so I'm gonna make sure my plane is here and then select the sketch and simply drag him down because everything is controlled by the sketch so if I can snap it here I have moved the door down to the ground okay now I'm back to the sketch or let's see if I can control the door thickness of the frame from here mm -mm -mm. nope I'm gonna do that from the sketch as well uh, this is why working with these uh, parameters are very cool because at any point you can control um, the objects let me just expose all of this so I can see who is who okay so I want to change this um, thickness to 0 0.5 this one as well 0 0.5 this as well 0 0.5 this as well 0 0.5 This stays 100. Okay, looking good. Close that, and that's my door. We have a nice door. We have a nice door. A 
let's make it look even better I'm gonna change this to 0 0.2 good we have an ISO so everything is very controlled and if I want my door to move as well along with the edge I'm going to put a dimension here so that it remembers to lock it here and not move at all um, close that okay so now the next part is I just want to create uh, the remaining features so what I'm going to do here I'm simply going to clone all of these elements so for example um, the door I I'm going to clone them and place them um, somewhat sim at similar locations as on this drawing so I'm going to select that door and I'm going to clone it right and I'm going to move that clone but first I am going to select this face and then I'm going to select this clone and I'm going to move him onto that edge somewhere all right like this and you can see that it's not doing anything as it's not appearing well that's because the door does not see that it's inside this wall so I'm going to insert it by selecting the door and then selecting the wall and then add the plus button and it's going to add this door into uh, the wall but something is interesting uh, it's losing uh, the material property of the door so if I select that for example and I were to right click on it and say appearance uh, shape color select that I can always bring it back to to its original color like so so that's how you change the doors uh, you, you, you clone other uh, some of these objects and the reason why you do it like this is because the original door will rem it's the one that you can edit and every time you will change something about that original door let's say this door I want it to be maybe 2.5 you can see that it's going to update everything everywhere all the doors everywhere so that's the main sketch that controls everybody so let's say I wanted to to grab this sketch or uh, maybe I wanted to say I want you to be 200 like this close that you can see that everything is being updated at the same time so that's extremely handy um, so I'll go back to 50 mil okay and so likewise you can do the same thing for the windows as well it's just the same duplication techniques so now I'm going to show you uh, for the foundations how does that work for the foundation I am also going to use this line that I use to, to create the, wa the wall uh, this line the sketch with all the parameters so I am going to simply create another wall like this and I can tell the wall I'm going to tell the wall to be what's that wall this wall I want it I'm going to create the first the foundation wall um, so assuming you are in a climate where you want a high mountain which required which you can afford to have foundation walls 
uh, let's say one meters tall okay like this nope one meters not one millimeter but one meter okay and so I'm gonna bring it down placement by um, negative one meter like this of course I'm going to change the center to the left exactly but on top of that I'm going to give him an extra thickness so instead of 2 I'm going to give it 2.2 like this so you're going to see that and I'm going to use the same sketch to create the foundation footing now so I create another wall like this I'm going to tell this wall to be um, to have a height of let's just get something good 0 0.4 okay that's all right 0 0.4 meters tall and then I'm going to put it down by negative 1.4 Like this so you can see how it's going into position I will make him center justify all right as well left like this but now I'm going to give him a thickness of six like this go to top view what do you look like um wide frame so now i am going to try to offset uh let's see 0 0.6 0 0.3 meters in the wrong direction pal negative negativo okay let's see what you look like shading all right not exactly the result so let's see two okay I think this is more accurate so now I'm just going to change the color make that maybe this dark and there you go we have our foundation so that's the sketch um, let me bring back the roof where are you one two three four okay so there you go um, so you see that with three sketches I'm able to create all these three different elements So I'm able to create all these th three different elements that I'm always able to control with the constraints. So if I go to 10, everything updates um, as I want. So that's 10, the foundation updated as well. The slabs updated. I go to total width. Um, living length living width maybe i want the living width to be four living width four 
Everything's good. Okay. Let's see if I want the living width to be 10. Okay. So now it didn't update the slab because I did not connect the other sketches with um, the nodes. So let's see how to fix that. So that sketch is the main guy. That's the door sketch. The wall sketch. This wall sketch here. Look at this guy. Close. Go to the view. View zero. And go into the sketch. Wireframe. Okay. See, I connected this node from here. But not here. So if I delete this and did this instead, a zero point six. Not in that direction. Okay. So that's going to control that now. So you can see that the roof updated and obviously you want to do the same thing the ground slab as well where you delete this move that and you do that and you do that 1.2 okay looking good looking good and um, shading and hide those sketches and so as you can see uh, um, it's just a question of playing with the settings and everything seems to be easy to update at any time so instead of making this tutorial extremely long I think you get the point of what you can do with the sketcher and uh, the, those parameters it, they're very powerful if you know how to use them so thank you and uh, thank you for watching